Caves. Since the beginning of time, human beings have been exploring and inhabiting caves. It is easy to gawk at the beautiful, intricate features that develop in caves without understanding how these features came into existence. Speleology is the study of caves, and today we will explore how caves and their most commonly known features form. When rainwater seeps into the ground, carbon dioxide from the soil as well as other elemental compounds are dissolved by the water, making it acidic. Another key ingredient in the formation of caves is limestone. This is a sedimentary body composed of calcium carbonate. When the acidic groundwater interacts with the limestone at the water table, it starts to dissolve the limestone, widening the cracks by forming channels. The water-filled channels develop into an aquifer. As the aquifer drains due to a lowering of the water table, a cave is formed. After the limestone is dissolved, the water continues to flow and reaches the ceiling of the cave, where it accumulates to the point of breaking surface tension. It then drips down to the cave floor, leaving behind calcium carbonate and other elements. The calcium carbonate builds up over time, forming a stalactite. The water that drops from the ceiling still contains the minerals that form the stalactite, which build up underneath the stalactite, forming a stalagmite. The stalagmite and stalactite can form mirror images and grow together to form one structure referred to as a limestone column. These structures are referred to as speleothems, which translates to cave deposit. Let's take a look at a vertical cross-section of a speleothem. As we concluded through their formation, speleothems form in layers over time, with thicker sections representing heavier rainfall seasons. Does this growth method sound familiar? This is how trees grow. The center layer of the tree and the innermost layer of the speleothem are the oldest layers. The outer layers of the tree and the speleothem are the youngest layers. Now that you know how caves and speleothems form, I hope you can appreciate their beauty in a new way.